So first start out with the theory in the classrooms, then we go for the simulators with the basics like starting up the engine, some basic maneuvers, and then we proceed on to real tank, training on the tactical strip and introducing some tactics and how to act during the live firing exercises and such. So depending on the on what in what at what point we are during the training, we basically are either at the simulators or on real tanks out in the field. So even though the training is 12 hours a day, uh, even at the end of the day, they still want to learn more, get some more experience, work a bit more around the tank. They have questions all the time because the, the stakes for them are very high. They want to know as much as they can once they get back to Ukraine. We have 30 days to do this course and uh, typically this course runs for about three months in Canada. Uh, so it's definitely very condensed. However, um, the Ukrainians that are here have come from tank platforms already, the T-Series tanks. So um, they already come with that knowledge of gunnery, knowledge of uh, mechanical systems. So it really ends up being more of a conversion course, um, just not necessarily teaching them how to be tankers, but teaching them how to use this particular tank. So the Leopard tank brings a lot more um, accuracy than the T-Series tanks. It brings a lot more distance in which it can engage, uh, a lot more speed moving uh, both forward and backwards. For example, if you compare the um, T-Series tanks, they go about five kilometers per hour backwards, whereas the Leopard can reach 30, 40 kilometers going backwards easily. So it's definitely a more advanced system and um, it brings a lot more uh, benefits to the battlefield for the Ukrainian side. What's important, we are not alone as a Polish instructors. We are having here our colleagues and experts from Norway and Canada. And uh, that's absolutely added value because this is an uh, international effort for uh, training of the, our uh, Ukrainian soldiers.